This is a ThinkPad W500 and I'm repairing the broken hinge. Uh, the issue with this notebook, like most W500s with the broken hinge, it's not necessarily the hinge that breaks, cause the hinge on the, the left hinge, the hinges on these uh, ThinkPads are actually pretty strong um, from what I'm experiencing, what I'm seeing right here. And also have another ThinkPad. The hinge itself is strong, but what happens is the roll cage, that's the magnesium um, caging that houses the uh, lower base. And there's also another magnesium uh, roll cage that houses the LCD uh, display case. What happens is that the roll cage, and I actually have one here, the replacement cage is what I have here. Uh, what happens, what breaks rather, is this thing. It's really thin at this junc juncture. And this breaks. And when this breaks, as it is right here, I'll move this around so you can see. When this breaks, uh, it it looks like the hinge is broken, but you see that right there, in there? That's where it breaks, so it just rocks back and forth and it's really loose. And when closed with the, uh, when everything's together, normally the latch doesn't catch because the hinge is just um, off pivot. So to fix that, the only fix for that is to buy a new cage. Uh, this one's actually used. Uh, these are all made in China, and it's really light, really durable. But, like I said, the roll cage idea is brilliant from ThinkPad, from Lenovo IBM. But on the W500, and I believe the T500s as well, uh, this is a weakness right here. Either this will break on the base, uh, and when you remove the LCD, there's a similar setup on the LCD roll cage where it's a thin very thin um, part of the roll cage. This is like actually the weakness of the whole roll, roll cage because when, once you have the, um, when, when you operate the hinge, all the pressures on this and, and these like very, very thin strips of uh, magnesium uh, cajun right there. It's really, really thin. So one of these will break and mess up your hinge. If that will break first and then maybe the hinge might break uh, after. But if uh, this doesn't break, then the hinge breaks. It's gonna be an issue with the hinge if you have one of these um, one of these bad boys. But to fix it on this, most people go out and buy the hinges. And these hinges are anywhere from $10 to $30. And they're all gonna be used. They don't make new hinges anymore. So the ones you buy online, uh, it's either gonna be refurbished or used. Uh, and you know, it might not be better than the hinge you have on there now. The hinges on this this bad boy is actually really good. So I'm just going to replace the roll cage um, that is broken right here. On this, it's snapped right in there. So it just like pivots. Um, and this has a lot of flex to it when you uh, pick the thing pad up. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using my, uh, my <clears throat> the Nova guide to disassemble the stuff. And that's what I like about IBM ThinkPad, Lenovo's. Uh, it's the ThinkPad in general that Lenovo I, slash IBM, or formerly IBM makes, is you can get anything online for free, and these things, you could take them apart with just basic screwdriver. <laughs> and just make sure you sort your screws out. I have labels, because uh, the screws will add up as you take um, components off of it. So for this right now, I guess I'm gonna do the LCD next. They come off with these screws here, the ribbon unclips. Then I'm gonna take out uh, the bottom lid from the magnesium case and take out the motherboard. And as well, I, the fan, the speakers, and some other trimmings, the backup battery, the, um, the uh, wireless cards, take those out. Uh, and that's it. And once that's out, I just put that onto the, the new roll cage. Uh, and it should all work out. It should take me about maybe, I don't know, it's my first time doing this. Uh, I've never really done this before. I've replaced the fan. I've replaced different things, but I've never replaced the whole um, base cage. It doesn't look that hard. I'm only using a screwdriver. I have some other backup tools from other parts of the house to uh, help out with this in case I have to pry or pull anything. Uh, so I've been using this to pry as well as this guy here. It's a little magnet to pick stuff up. It's really good for picking up screws because the screws are really tiny and really easy to lose. And that's pretty much it. Uh, don't want that to fall off the bed because that's the hard drive and the uh, the CD, um, the Ultra Bay um, thing. And that's it.
And this is the W500. I will shoot another video once I have everything off to show you guys what the broken case, broken cage looks like. As well as, I guess, a third part of this when everything's back together and I'll show you how the new, new cage is working. Alright, bye.